This video is brought to you by Squarespace. After almost 10 years, I finally found the perfect computer setup for photo and video. Now, before I show you that, let's go back to the beginning of this story. In 2013, when I first became interested in YouTube, I bought my first iMac for photo and video. Couldn't even tell you the specs on this, it's so old, but it's extra thick and still has a CD port. And a year or two later, I got my first MacBook Pro. This is as my career started to grow in creativity, I wanted to be able to take a computer on the road with me while working with clients and going to an off-site office. For years, this setup worked perfect. And this is the setup I used for a lot of the early YouTube videos on this channel. Things started to get a little more difficult around 2018. You see the MacBook that I was using, the keyboard burnt out on that computer. This was a common problem with these MacBooks because of the heat from processing photo and video. Eventually the keyboard no longer worked. So I chose to replace this computer with a very entry level MacBook Pro. It didn't have a lot of memory, didn't have a lot of RAM. And to make matters worse, it only had two Thunderbolt ports and it didn't have an SD card reader. This was a terrible time in Apple computers and it made really simple tasks like importing an SD card to an external drive while your computer was charging way more of a task than it needed to be. Now I made the best of it for a little while and used this computer up until fall of 2019 when I decided to get another iMac. Now this iMac had 32 gigs of RAM and it had one terabyte of storage and this is the computer that I've been using ever since. And this computer has been decent and got the job done but my only complaint has come in the last year and a half as video files have gotten bigger, projects have gotten larger, and I've had more photos to edit, I've noticed that the 32 gigs of RAM has become an issue. Things like slow program startup times and long export times have really put a strain on the efficiency of my workflow. And I started to miss the ability to work wherever I wanted. Just the thought of being able to work in my bed sounded amazing, not to mention coffee shops and when I'm out on jobs and things like that. I missed it so much I ended up adding an iPad Pro into my workflow, but it never found a place because I don't enjoy the file system on the iPad. I use it a lot for quick photo edits, things like Instagram stories and Twitter, but that's about it. It never replaced my MacBook. So with all those issues on my mind, the main one being productivity, I decided to take my computer setup more seriously this year. And I started to think there's gotta be a way to have the flexibility of a MacBook and the large screen of an iMac. Let's start with the laptop I picked up. This is a 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max chip, 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, 64 gigabyte unified memory, and four terabyte internal storage laptop. I went with this to maximize the screen size while also being able to maximize the processing time. And I wanted to have a lot of internal storage so I could add video files to the computer, edit them, and then eventually move them to an external drive. The first project that I completed this year was for my YouTube channel and it was a six gig video file. And I exported it in seven minutes on this new MacBook. Using this MacBook feels like I'm returning to the MacBook that I loved so much back in 2015 when I started my career and it solves all the issues that I had with that second MacBook I had around 2018 and 2019. You have an SD card reader on here so you can easily import files. You have plenty of USB-C ports so you can add an external drive and MagSafe charging. And one great thing about MagSafe charging is that it allows the charger to come off easily if someone happens to walk into the cord. You don't have to worry about about your laptop being pulled off the workstation or desk that you are using. I also really enjoy how robust this design is. The nice thick design allows for more battery and it just feels like a more solid machine. Another thing that I really like about this MacBook that caught me by surprise is the speaker's capability. If you're someone who edits a lot of video with music or voice and you need to do sound design, you can hear everything crystal clear through these speakers and they're probably the best speakers I've ever heard on a laptop. Now it is worth noting that as I'm recording this video, Apple did release their latest rendition of the MacBook, which has an M2 Max chip. So technically the computer that I'm using in this video is a little bit out of date. It really doesn't impact the overall setup that I'm showing y'all, but I'm considering swapping this out for that just so I can have the newest one. And it has 96 gigs of unified memory, which is very intriguing to me. So stay tuned on the channel to find out if I do that. Besides editing, one of the first things that I've been using this MacBook for is up updating my website evanramp.com which is hosted on today's sponsor Squarespace. Right now I'm looking at a new site template for 
2023, and that's one of my favorite features of Squarespace. It's so easy to completely redesign your website using the drag and drop templates that require no web design experience. And these templates are designed with every creative need in mind. If you're someone like me who sells products on their site, they have e-commerce templates that make it easy to sell prints and presets. Or if you're someone who's more interested in showing their creative work, they have templates designed specifically for showcasing a portfolio. And another feature on Squarespace I really enjoy is their email marketing features. I can have my website and all my email marketing contained in one place. And Squarespace organizes the list of people who've subscribed to my email list so I can send them updates on new products and announcements throughout the year. Now, Squarespace is hooking up everyone on this channel with a free trial. Just go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp to try it out. And when you're ready to sign up, you can use code Evan Ramp to save 10%. That's squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp. Take a trial, build yourself a site. And when you're ready to sign up, you can use code Evan Ramp to save 10% on that purchase. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So like I mentioned, I did enjoy the large screen that my iMac provided, especially for editing video and editing photo. It just makes your life easier. So I decided to pick up a base model studio display from Apple. This essentially gives me the screen of an iMac with the mobile capabilities of a MacBook. And it was really easy to set up. You just take it out of the box, plug it into the wall, plug it into your MacBook, and now you have a dual screen setup. And MacBooks have a feature called clamshell mode, which means the computer can be closed, but you can still run the computer on a screen like the studio display. And I was even able to hook up my LG dual up monitor to this setup and create a three screen setup. Now I need to play with this a little bit more and perfect it. Right now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to fit into my workflow. I also replaced my keyboard and trackpad. And one great thing about Apple accessories like this is that they're easy to connect and they don't override the keyboard and trackpad on the MacBook when they're connected to a studio display clamshell setup like this. Meaning if I have my MacBook open, I can use the keyboard and trackpad on my MacBook and I can use the keyboard and trackpad that is separate external on the studio display interchangeably. One doesn't cancel the other one out. This gives you the flexibility to take your MacBook wherever you wanna go, come home to your studio, plug it into your studio setup running off of a laptop. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Now, a few things I really like about this studio display, at the end of the day, it is just a monitor and it performs as you would expect a 5K monitor from Apple to perform. The picture looks great, no issues there, and the True Tone technology that is in this monitor works well with adjusting to whatever room lighting you're in. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about that, but it hasn't been an issue up to this point. Also, I really enjoy just the general design of this. It's very sleek, it's clean, and it looks great in an office, but I know some people don't love the minimal designs of Apple. It is kind of weird that you can't unplug the cord like you can a traditional iMac. Also, the fact that I cheaped out and got the base model of this prevents me from adjusting the height, which isn't a big deal for me, but I could see some people having a problem with that, especially if you eventually change desks or something like that. Now, one big thing I want to make explicitly clear in this video is just because I'm investing this money into this setup doesn't mean that you have to. This is a setup that works well even with a base model MacBook. I just wanted to present you with something that has finally started to work for me. Over the years, I've struggled with finding a computer system that works well for photo and video, and now I have found one that, for me, checks all those boxes, and it can for you as well. So if you're someone who wants the best of both worlds, a laptop and an iMac all in one, this could be something that you check out. So I appreciate y'all watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. I'm excited to start using this setup, and I'm gonna evolve this studio space over time. This is like the starting point of what I eventually hope to do with this space. So stay tuned for desk setup and update videos like that. One quick note for anyone who's a student on Modern Creative Money or is interested in ModernCreativeMoney.com, today is the last day you can enroll in the course at the half off introductory price. If you don't know what ModernCreativeMoney.com is, it is a website that I created for artists, taught by artists, with the intention of eliminating courses that cost $1,500, $1,000. I want this platform to be affordable for everyone and the first course we launched is called Monetizing Modern Creativity and this course is a business basics foundation course essentially taking everything I've learned over my career condensing it down into 
three hours and nine workbook pages for y'all so you don't have to make all the mistakes that I did and do all the trial and error of building a creative business. Now, the reason we're taking the course offline is because I'm bringing another instructor in to help me make the course even better based on the feedback that current students have sent me. And I'm gonna send another one of those emails to current students and anyone who signs up today so y'all can take the course and give me feedback and make sure we're adding everything y'all want. Some of the topics we're going to add to the course include creating a portfolio, the basics, pitch email plus a workbook page, sizing up a client's budget, pitch deck basics plus a Canva template, creating a product budget, quote calculator worksheet, image licensing basic, licensing template worksheet, what is a retainer client, we're gonna talk about negotiation examples for social media deals, social media sponsorship delivery process, the licensing double dip of social media work, we're gonna talk about how to sell presets, the importance of passive income, and much more. And we're gonna add workbook pages along with those modules. Right now we have eight workbook pages, nine if you count the cover page. This includes an invoice template for y'all. It includes a business plan template. It includes a brand avatar worksheet. It includes an invoice showing y'all how to fill it out. We have the perfect offers worksheet, long-term, short-term goals, and an hourly rate calculator. So these are tools that I designed for you to use throughout the course of your business, even after you finish all the material on moderncreativemoney.com, and we are going to add to this as well. So all current students, you can take the course for the next two months, and then when we make the update in April, you will have access to all those with no additional charge. And if you sign up today, you will be able to take the course as well. And once again, get all those updates without having to pay any extra money. In April, the course will be back to its full price. We're trying to expand the website. We have bills to pay, but right now is the last day that you can take advantage of the introductory price as well as get your feedback into me to make this the best business basics course on the internet. So thank you for listening to this message. Thank you for supporting moderncreativemoney.com. And and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. But today is the last day to get half off on this platform and get access to all the additional information we're adding in April with no additional cost. Thank you to everyone for supporting the channel. I'll see y'all next time.